This is the Garrett Ace 400, which is ideally suited for finding coins, jewelry, and relics. The Ace 400 includes iron audio to help identify discriminated iron targets, digital target ID with a large 0 to 99 scale for more target information, a 10 kilohertz frequency for improved sensitivity on low and medium conductivity targets like gold and lead, an adjustable frequency to help eliminate electrical interference or other detectors in competition hunts, cam locks for increased stem stability, and a sharp, responsive pulse width modulation audio. The ACE 400 includes three free accessories, Garrett volume control headphones, an environmental cover-up to protect the control box from rain, dust, and mud, and a coil cover to protect your search coil from scratches and chips during use. Assembly of your new ACE detector is very simple. Loosen the lower cam lock and extend the lower stem. Insert the mounting washers Connect the search coil to the stem and hand tighten the wing nut. Loosen the upper cam lock. Insert the S stem with the control housing. Adjust the lower stem to a comfortable height and hand tighten the cam locks. Wrap the coil cable snugly around the stem with the first turn over the stem. Insert the coil connector into the control housing connector and hand tighten. The arm cuff can be adjusted by removing the screw on the bottom and mounting the two-piece cuff to the other hole. To power on the detector, simply press the power button. To power off, press the power button and hold for about one second until you hear that second beep. To restore your detector to factory settings, simply press and hold the power button for about five seconds. When you hear that double beep, you'll also notice that it has switched to coins mode, which is the factory default setting. The ACE 400 also includes this battery level indicator. When it's down to one bar remaining, it's time to change your batteries. Your ACE 400 is always going to indicate all targets that you encounter in the field, but it's important that you understand target ID. So let's take a look at that. Okay, the ACE 400's target ID includes the legend up at the top. Ferrous or iron items indicate more toward the left side. Non-ferrous or more conductive items are going to be more toward the right. And you can see that U.S. coins are all clearly identified. This lower scale here indicates all the pixels that are switched on that are active, that have not been rejected. These that are cleared out on this side have been rejected. Although you will see a target ID cursor appear across the top row wherever an item is seen. It will be audible if it's accepted. If it's rejected, it will not be audible, but you will still see the cursor. So I've got a, a target on the ground here. We'll go over this coin and you'll see what I'm talking about. You can hear the audio. And you can see the target ID cursor at the top. That pixel indicates the probable target identity. This digital target ID is a more precise value of the ID cursor it corresponds with on the upper scale. 85, 86, that's giving you a little more precise target information. You'll also notice that the depth is indicated in two inch increments. So if this coin was buried in the ground, it would be about six inches deep. So you've got your target ID cursor, you've got your digital target ID, and you've also got your depth, all showing on the ACE 400. One thing to note on the depth indication, items that are very tiny, much smaller than a coin, may actually be sitting shallower than what they show. Other way around, items that are very large, much larger than a coin, may actually be deeper in the ground than what they indicate on the screen. So keep in mind that it's based on coin size objects. 
Also for your digital target ID, it's important to note, get your target centered, pinpointed as best you can. If you have your target very well centered and you keep your coil swing very level and flat above the target, you're gonna get a more precise target ID. The ACE 400 makes three distinctive tones based on a metal's conductivity. I've got three targets laid out here on the ground so we can uh, look at these three different tones. You can listen to them. So let's take a listen here. Okay, the first tone we've got is a low tone. That's for anything with a digital target ID reading from zero to 32. We've got a steel washer here for the low tone. So let's listen to it. There's your low tone sound. Next for the mid tone, I've got a gold ring. Mid-tone is anything reading from 33 to 75. There's your mid-tone sound. Finally, for high-tone, anything reading 75 or higher on your target ID, I've got a silver coin here. There's your high-tone or your bell-tone. And let's go back over the other two real quick so you can hear them. High-tone. Mid-tone. Low tone. One of the powerful features about the ACE 400 is the inclusion of iron audio on this machine. What that does is helps you avoid digging tricky things like flat washers and bottle caps that are often the nemesis of coin diggers. I've got a bottle cap right here. So I'm gonna put this on the ground and then let's look at some of the settings and I'll show you how the iron audio works. This button here controls your iron audio, the same as your power button. One important thing to note, you must have some discrimination going on, some pixels of iron notched out in order for iron audio to be functional. So let's go over the target real quick with nothing discriminated. That bottle cup sounds pretty good. It's reading high tone, probably something I would dig. And just for the sake of notching out some iron, I'm just gonna switch modes real quick to jewelry. So we got some iron notched out. Let's go over it again and check it though, just with the notches out. Still sounds good. But if I want to double check it, now I hit my iron audio. It indicates that it's on. And let's go back over it and listen. There's some flanking iron sounds. If I'm dead centered on it, still sounds okay. But as I'm coming and going, I can hear that iron grunt on either side of the target. Listen to this. That tells me this is not a pure coin target that I'm digging for. This item contains some iron mixed in with it.